Hello students, so in the previous video I gave you an example to solve this as a part of your homework, as an assignment, a small assignment. So what was the question? A question was that an object travels 14 meters in 2 seconds and another 16 meters in 2 seconds. Find its average speed. So we know the formula for average speed. The formula is speed is equal to total distance upon total time so total distance upon total time we have total distance that is 14 meters plus 16 meters upon total time that is 2 plus 2 it becomes 14 plus 16 becomes 30 meters time 2 plus 2 becomes 4 so now what you have over here is how much yes 4 sevens 28 2 is remaining 4 fives so what you get is 7.5 meters per second so this is how you find the average speed of an object so the next question was a newer one that is related to acceleration so starting from a stationary point a car attains the velocity of 36 kilometers per hour so the first of all what you are supposed to do is write all the values find its acceleration so you need to find the acceleration but what have been given to you initial velocity u that is 0 meters per second like I said yesterday because it is starting it has no velocity so u is 0 meters per second then we have v that is given as 36 kilometer per hour however we have to convert this kilometers per hour in meters per second so what we do we use v is equal to 36 multiplying it by 1000 and hours means 60 minutes and 60 seconds zeros cut 6 6 are 36 so this 36 and 36 becomes 1 and 1 tens is 10 so 10 meters per second is the velocity that is the final velocity now all you need to do is apply the formula of acceleration acceleration a is equal to v that is 10 minus u that is 0 upon time taken the question was in 10 seconds so you are supposed to write 10 over here now remember this is minus sign over here and division you cannot cut 10 like this first you are supposed to solve this thing and then move forward so whatever is in addition or subtraction first solve that and then only you can cut it this is simple arithmetic expressions so 10 minus 0 is 10 upon 10 which becomes 10 ones answer is 1 meter per second square because this is acceleration acceleration a is equal to 1 meter per second square this is your final answer the formula was v minus u upon t for those who don't remember I hope it is clear to you students yes okay so now we talk about another important point and aspect of acceleration that is is it a scalar or vector quantity is it a scalar or vector quantity if you don't remember scalar and vector quantities are two types of physical quantities in which scalar has only magnitude and vector has direction as well as magnitude what is magnitude magnitude is a numerical value which describes a physical quantity a number okay i repeat once again scalar has only magnitude and vector has magnitude as well as direction so if you remember in acceleration we had velocity upon time so velocity and velocity is a vector quantity because it has direction so acceleration has direction now time has no direction but velocity has direction therefore acceleration is a vector quantity we are talking about acceleration in a particular direction okay so acceleration is a vector quantity do not forget that okay now we talk about another physical quantity that is negative acceleration which is similar to acceleration just the exact opposite negative acceleration or deceleration
In acceleration, we talk that when an object moves from point A to B, its velocity increases. Its velocity increases. Now, what happens if the velocity decreases? Then it is called negative acceleration. Now, suppose we are saying that the object was moving in uniform motion. That means it had a velocity, for example, it had a velocity of 50 meters per second. It has velocity of 50 meters per second. Now, it saw, the vehicle saw an animal on the road and it applies the brakes. So, the vehicle is applying the brakes because it was moving with 50 meters per second. It has velocity and it was having uniform motion. It was moving constantly with 50 meters per second. So, at point A, it has velocity of 50 meters per second. But suddenly, the vehicle sees an animal on the road and it applies the brakes. So, what happens is, as it reaches from point A to point B, an animal is somewhere over here. So, it wants to stop before the animal and therefore the driver applies the brakes of the vehicle and this velocity starts decreasing. Let's say 45, then 35, then 20, then 10 and finally 0. So, the vehicle started from 50 meters per second and now its final velocity V is 0. Initial velocity U is 50 meters per second. So, it was having more velocity before and less velocity afterwards okay and obviously it has to take certain time for example let's say it takes five seconds to stop from a to b whatever the whatever the time it doesn't matter this is just an example for you we are not going to solve it it's not a numerical an example to make you understand that this is the exact opposite of acceleration and hence it is called negative acceleration or deceleration. When we talk just acceleration, velocity increases. When deceleration, velocity decreases. So from A to B, when velocity is 50 meters per second, it starts decreasing and it goes to zero. Okay, so velocity decreased. Over here, velocity decreases. Velocity decreases i hope it is e easy to understand students it is quite easy topic not very difficult okay so negative acceleration is exact opposite of acceleration the formula does not change it remains the same way a is equal to v minus u upon t however in this case if you solve this example acceleration a is equal to final velocity is zero Initial velocity is 50, time taken is 5 seconds, so what you get 0 minus 50 is minus 50 upon 5 and 5 tens is 0, 5 tens 50 and 0 or you can write it as minus 10 meters per second square. So answer over here is minus 10 meters per second square. I hope it is clear. Yes. In the same way, if we talk about direction, if we take this direction as positive, then this direction is negative in scalar and vector quantity. If we take this direction as positive, then its exact opposite is negative. Alright, so if we say that a vehicle is moving, a car is moving in this direction with 50 meters per second and other car is moving in this direction with 50 meters per second then these two are exact opposite so if this is 50 then this is minus 50 if we take this as 50 meters per second then this one is taken as minus 50 because we are comparing this two okay i hope it is clear in the same way distance can never be negative listen listen students distance can never be negative suppose an object moves from a to b it doesn't matter in which direction the object is moving. It is always going to be positive because we are just adding the numbers, how much meters it has covered in the total. But if we talk about when it goes from here and then it goes to this direction, okay? So object has moved from A to B, that is 50 meters, and then it goes in this direction C, that is again 50 meters. So what the object did? Object went from over here so plus 50 meters but then object moved in the opposite direction so he moved minus 100 meters so 
minus 50 in this direction and minus 50 in this direction so minus 50 and minus 50 becomes minus 100 meters so what is the displacement so a to c that is minus 50 meters this is how imagine it to be like a number line that we have studied in this direction positive this direction negative but it is flexible if you take this direction positive then this will be negative it's very simple I hope it is clear to you students yes okay now if the object came from A to B and again B to A then its total distance can be 50 plus 50 100 but final velocity final displacement A so his initial and final point are same so displacement can be zero but distance will not be zero okay so object went from A to B and it became 50 and it came back from B to A so again 50 so 50 plus 50 total distance is 100 meters but his initial and final point are same so displacement is 0 0 meters understood so distance can never be 0 or negative distance can never be zero or negative but displacement can be positive can be negative or zero i hope it is clear to you these basic concepts are important to us in order to understand acceleration distance can never be zero or negative because it has no direction whatever direction you move it just gets added into the total path that you have taken so distance can never be zero or negative however displacement can be zero positive or negative like we saw in this example it can be positive if it comes back to the same place zero or it moves away from the same place so negative so displacement can be negative as well i hope it is clear students i hope negative acceleration is clear to you yes okay we move forward and today we solve once again a few examples for you giving to you in the homework okay students so the questions are quite simple the maximum speed of the train is 80 kilometers per hour and it takes 10 hours to complete 400 kilometers find the ratio of maximum speed and average speed so I'll give you the question and a little bit hints. So the maximum speed is already given. You have been given the distance and the time. Okay. So you can find the average speed. Because for 400 kilometers it is not going to move with a constant speed. Obviously it is going to stop at certain stations. And it might also stop for the other trains as well. Okay. So its speed is going to fluctuate a little bit. It is not always going to be the same. So you have to find the average speed. So the total distance and total time is already given to you. But in between it achieves the maximum speed of 80 km per hour in a certain areas. So the maximum speed is given. Total distance and total time is given. And over here you can see the time is not in seconds or minutes. So no need to convert it in seconds and no need to convert this distance and speed as well in meters per second so over here kilometers per hour and over also ki kilometers and hours is given to you so there is no need to do any conversion you can directly solve the answer and last you have to find the ratio not just the average speed remember that the question is to find the ratio of maximum speed and average speed i hope you know how to find the ratios first find the average speed and take the ratio put the maximum speed on top and the average speed on the bottom okay I can give you that much moving forward the next question is a bus takes 54 kilometers per hour speed in 60 seconds so it achieves the speed of 54 kilometers per hour in 60 seconds find its acceleration now over here you can see that time is given in seconds so here you will have to convert this 50 kilometers per hour into meters per second so finally you will get the answer in meters per second square okay this much convert the velocity into meters per second and then apply the formula for acceleration 
so over here a bus is achieving the velocity of 54 kilometers per hour okay so it is going to start at certain point so the initial velocity once again u will be 0 and final velocity v is 54 kilometers per hour and you will have to find the acceleration i hope it is clear to you students over here in the ratio it is the ratio comparison so there is no need to give any uh, units to it okay leave it as it is it is just a ratio we'll talk about more in the next video